what happens with comparers is what's happening is they are too lazy and too uncomfortable to make a new file for your story. So they have to file it under an existing file of a comparative story that they already have a category for. And what it means for them is when, when comparers do this, either when we do it to others or it's done to us, it means that your pain is too intense for them. So they have to hijack it by comparing it to someone else's pain that they've already kind of made peace with. So your pain isn't allowed to be personal. And your pain and my pain, guys, is deeply personal. That's what these comparers do. They make your pain be depersonalized and feel bad for making it personal. There's no hierarchy with pain, okay? Pain has no hierarchy. Suffering cannot be and shouldn't be ranked. Pain isn't a contest. So when comparers start talking to us, we feel it's dragged us into a contest and a hierarchy and our pain somewhat is lower down than the story they're about to tell us. So what it does is when pain is diminished by comparison, it doesn't remove your pain. It makes it go underground. Because when we, when we feel our pain is diminished, we feel embarrassed about what, how well off we clearly are compared to someone else you just told us about. So we kind of go quiet and our pain goes underground and you can't deal with pain that goes underground. 